Let me tell you guys three things about myself. Number one, my favorite movie is Rocky. It's a Hollywood movie series that has big inspiration in my life and had the biggest impact on my life yet. From Rocky, it inspired me to challenge myself to learn new skills, which leads to my second point. I tend to challenge myself to learn new skills and new experiences. Number three, I moved to Indonesia in 2019, which means this year marks my fourth year living in Indonesia. And guess what? I still can't speak Bahasa Indo. Let me, let me give you guys a quick recap of my, how my first year went in Indonesia. This was me. First day in school. Allahu Akbar, I look like an egg. Before I came to Indonesia, I knew nothing about the culture, the, 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 the language, nothing. The only thing I knew about Indonesia was nasi goreng. That's it. So then, first day of school came up. I was so nervous, so anxious, didn't know anything or anyone. So I met new friends. How? First day, I went to the classroom. I saw the first table, it was empty. Nobody was sitting at it. I took my chance, sat there, stayed on my phone. Didn't talk to anybody else. But then the homeroom teacher came in, divided us into groups, and that's where I met two people in my group. The, people, the person on my left had this, basically a notebook full of drawings. I was very impressed. It was my first time seeing those type of drawings in my life. The guy on my right had this very thick notebook. It was full of math problems and solutions. At that point, I swear to God, I thought I was the dumbest person in the whole room. So then I met new friends. With that, I learned more about the culture. The first thing I learned from my friends, so I did this. I was texting my friend. I sent him a funny video. Can you guess what his response was? Can you guess what his response was? was? It was literally, wick, 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 wick. That was the first thing I learned. I th when I saw that, I thought my friend was having a stroke. So then, I decided, and my friends were bullying me a lot for looking like an egg, okay? I didn't like it. So then I decided, okay, let me prove them wrong. So I signed up in the gym. It was near my house. And that was the first picture of me in the gym. It's Osborne. It's in Megabukasi. It's near where I live. I decided to get active, to lose weight, right? But guess what, what happened next? COVID. COVID made me unable to go to the gym. Lockdown, regulations, staying at home, f f two meter distance. That was basically what you're supposed to do in COVID. You couldn't do anything else. We can all agree it was probably the best moments of our lives and our worst moments of our lives. Why was it the best? Well, let's just say we were staying at home, watching Netflix, playing video games, doing online school. We were doing everything we wanted. And guess what? We all lost, we all, we got what? We all got fatter, right? We all did get chubbier. Our necks were not existent. We looked very fat. We all did. So then I decided to challenge myself, my family and I, right? Get out of a complex, run around, play basketball. Fun fact about me, I learned how to ride a bicycle when I was 15 years old. If you laugh, you're a bad person, okay? I know it's embarrassing. Please don't laugh at me. From that, okay, I decided I learned how to ride a bicycle. Why not try something else? So I decided, okay, Let's lose weight. Let's try to lose weight. Dieting, do more exercising, get active more. And I did. I lost roughly 5 kgs and I looked so much better. I felt confident, I felt better, and I felt more active. So I decided I want to do this more. The gyms opened up due to regulations being less strict, and I had the ability to go to the gym again. So I decided to lift weights. First couple of months, I gained muscle. I saw some definition, but it wasn't a lot of muscle. It was good amount of muscle. This is what I did to basically gain more muscle. What I did is I ate more protein. I added more diet. I added more protein in my diet, which causes the muscle to grow. I also visited the gym roughly three times a week in order to learn discipline. And this is what it looked like on my first couple of months going to the gym. I know I still look skinny, but I can see some differences from last time. Then, something tragic happened. I felt stuck. 
What do I mean by that? I didn't see any progress. No changes whatsoever. Whatever I did, I saw nothing. I look in the mirror after I come back from the gym. I take off my shirt. I want to take a shower. I look at myself and I see nothing. I just see a big piece of slime looking himself into the mirror. I wasn't feeling good. I was very depressed. I was on my lowest point in my life. I didn't know what to do. I felt like giving up. That was my only option, is to give up. Well, I try to find some motivation from quotes. First one was from Rocky. It was my, it's, again, my favorite movie. Why is it my favorite movie? Due to this line. Rocky said, it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and still keep going. Number two, the secret of change is to focus all your energy, not onto, the, on, not onto finding the old, but on building the new. So meaning you have to reinvent yourself. Number three, my father. He said, don't give up. You are already ahead of everyone else. Everything you've been through, if you give that up, that's just pointless. Why? This is your journey. Work on it. Make us proud. You got this. See, my biggest inspiration is my father. Why? Well, he just helped me a lot. Every time I have this problem, this obstacle, I always go to him and I ask him for help. He always gives me this meaningful and valued response. He's a very serious man. So whatever he says is 100% meant. It has 100% respect and love behind what he says. So every time I have a conversation with him, I feel very emotional. So I asked him, Dad, I feel like giving up. I don't see what I can do. I see no progress and I can't improve. What can I do? We had a very meaningful talk. He gave me very strong words. And from there, I went to my room, sat alone, sat with my thoughts, and I planned, what should I do? So then, I made this one-year evolution. 2020, started to challenge myself. 2021, didn't see, I saw minimal progress. Let's just put it that way. That, after my talk with my dad, start of 2021, this is how I look like. And it, end of 2021, after my talk with my dad, I gained more muscle. I looked stronger, I had more fat, and I looked better. So next year's plan, 2021, I didn't give up, I kept going. 2022, use everything you learned and keep pushing. So 2021, I gained motivation to grow. 2022, keep looking forward and keep on track. I did pretty good in 2022. I progressed so much, I felt so proud of myself. I got stronger, I got better, I got more muscle. Again, it hit me again. I felt something was wrong. I was looking, at my, I was looking at my, on my friend's Instagram page. These guys were gaining so much muscle more than me. I felt like something was wrong with me. But I didn't feel depressed, I didn't feel sad, I didn't do anything about it. I did do anything about it. What I did is research. Research is one of the most important things in your life. Without education, you will, know, you will go nowhere. So I researched. What did I research? I looked like this. I felt stupid and weak. Look at me. Slime. Literally slime. Right? So I researched. I changed. What did I research exactly? Diet. Dieting is the most crucial thing. According to Healthline.com, it says 80% is significant to diet and 20% is significant for exercising. What they're saying is, if you work out two hours a day in the gym and then you go back home and eat nasi padang, that is nothing, nothing's gonna happen. You're not gonna improve. What I also research is that mindset is the most crucial, also one of the most significant aspects you need to change. You have to have this strong mindset where you need to keep going, you need to push, you need to push your limits, keep going, don't stop. Number three, Push yourself to the limits. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again, nothing is going to happen. You're going to stay average. You're going to stay at the same point. Number four, stay consistent. Keep showing up. 
Keep working on yourself. You're going to see some progress. Small changes, big outcome. Stoicism. Stoicism is one of the most strongest effects that I had on me. Stoicism is basically making you see negative, solution, negative problems into positive. For example, your girlfriend broke up with you. You tell yourself, why did this happen to me? Why did you do this to me? Instead of saying that, you can say this, what can I learn from this? What was the message she was trying to deliver? That's how stoicism affects your mindset. Always makes it positive. A couple, after a couple of months of changing, this is how I looked like. I looked better. I had stronger. I got so much more muscle. And I had abs. I still have abs now, okay? That's not the point. I looked better. The point is, I improved. Just so you guys know, before I started, I didn't know what to do. After the research, after the changes, I looked like this. And so, got, so can you. I pushed myself to the limits every single day. I changed my bad habits into the good. And I looked stronger and better. I improved slowly but surely. The transformation isn't the only thing that I changed my mindset for. I changed my mindset for also academic goals as well. In school, I was lazy. I didn't want to do tasks, I wasn't focused at all, but after changing my mindset and my diet, it made me more focused. It made me more disciplined and also doing school work, not only the gym. So this, having this strong mindset is like a status. You have it, nobody can buy it, nobody can sell it, nobody can take it from you. You have it, you're already winning. Keep working on it. During the journey, I met three brothers. I don't consider them as friends, they're my brothers. We have the same goal, but different journeys. The goal was to make ourselves proud and be better than everybody else. These brothers right here, they helped me be the best of myself, and I also have support them as well. Here's a food for thought. The journey isn't about, is about taking risks and changing what is needed to get better and thrive. Go through risks. You will never regret it. It is not easy. But that's what makes it valuable. It has a significant value and it earns respect and status. Change is good. Positive change is good, not negative change. Positive change is good. Try it out and see how far you can go. Here's a mind opening quote to end the speech today by Joey Diaz Change can be scary, but it's scarier to stay stagnant. Take the leap and watch how your life unfolds. Thank you.